Nadia Lapa knows all too well how life can change in an instant. Young, healthy, active, Nadia is a victim of a rare and unpredictable heart condition. CTV's Joel Haslam here now with more of Nadia's story, Joel. Mm -hmm. Graham and Patricia, you know, 90% of patients affected by this condition are women. And though relatively rare, as we mentioned, it is the number one cause of heart attack for them and for women who are pregnant or postpartum. <laughs> if one of us goes down, we all go down. Nadia Lapa is where she belongs. Shoulders. In the company of friends, living every moment. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. But two years ago, she came face to face with life's fragility. I had just turned 37. I had also just delivered my third child. He was seven weeks old. <laughs> On a maternity leave, Natty had gone out for lunch, then popped into the office to show her colleagues the baby. She began feeling anxious, then became violently ill. It never occurred to me as I was lying on the cold, dirty floor of the public washroom with a crushing pain in my chest that I was having a heart attack. Nadia's colleagues called 911. Paramedics worked quickly to get her into an ambulance. Her friends in shock and disbelief that this was happening. I think I just broke down in tears just because I couldn't fathom losing one of my dear friends that I've known since I was five years old. I just pictured, you know, these three beautiful children without their mom, um, her husband, like, you know, being left a widow with three children. And um, yeah, it was, it was quite heartbreaking. At the Ottawa Heart Institute, doctors quickly diagnosed the problem. They kept repeating this word. They kept saying SCAD, SCAD. SCAD stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection. One or more of the blood vessels that bring blood flow to the heart, those are called the coronary arteries, they can suffer a tear. Thankfully, a relatively rare condition in the grand scheme of cardiovascular diseases. However, for young women, is the number one cause for heart attack. And the number one cause of heart attack in pregnant women, or like Nadia, women who have just given birth, Doctors aren't certain why. Some theories point to increased progesterone levels being harmful to arteries. Others believe some SCAD patients may be predisposed. They already have fragile blood vessels, which become stressed by pregnancy. Many of them are very fit. They have no cardiovascular risk factors, and then this happens. And interestingly, over 90% of SCAD patients are women. Typically, SCAD patients are left to heal on their own. But in more serious cases, like Nadia's, where the heart is being starved of blood, intervention is necessary. Two arteries tore, one they left to heal on its own, and one they stented. Nadia did experience some setbacks. Over the next two days, I went into heart failure. Her rhythm restored medically in the Heart Institute's critical care unit. She's home and making her way back. I feel like I'm, I'm doing much better. Grateful to those who saved her life, Natty is on the move, running a 5K in Ottawa race weekend in support of the Ottawa Heart Institute. We are so grateful and thankful to the uh, Heart Institute for holding my sister's heart in their hands and saving her life. And another lifesaver, who had a baby around the same time as Nadia, is running too. I was very inspired by the fact that, you know, she was running and, you know, if she is going to run, then I better run too. It's a celebration of women's heart health, led by a wife and mom who knows its value. I really do, and I don't take it for granted. Now, doctors can't predict SCAD in patients. There are no warning signs, and while this condition is relatively rare, it's important for patients and those who love them to be aware of SCAD, to realize when someone suddenly feels unwell that it might be a heart attack warranting immediate attention. Support life-saving care and research. Please give at foundation ottawaheart.ca. Difficult road back for Natalie, but uh, happy to see she's reunited with her family and doing much better. Mm -hmm. I have to believe that someone Natalie. watching this may recognize that as it's happening to them mm -hmm. because of this type of story. And they don't want to alarm people, obviously, uh, with this story. It's, it's more mm -hmm. about education than trying to frighten anyone, certainly. But, uh, great to see Nadia and the moms running again, right? So great. Good stuff. Yeah, they're called the Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> if you want to support them, watch for that team at race weekend. Right. Good stuff. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Joel. Thank